Hello students, this video deals with structure and functions of endoplasmic reticulum. Structure of endoplasmic reticulum, it is a part of a cytoplasm and reticulum means a fine network. So endoplasmic reticulum is an interlinked network of cisternae, membrane, disc, vesicles and tubule structure inside the eukaryotic cell. The endoplasmic reticulum was first discovered by Ernest Fulham and Porter and Albert Clade in the year 1945. Uh, this is the picture what I have shown here. It is the nucleus. So just besides the nucleus, you can see a reticular structure, network like structure embedded with a ribosome. Structurally, endoplasmic reticulum is an extensive membrane network of cisternae sac like structure which are held together by cytoskeleton. The phospholipid membrane encloses a space, the lumen of the lumen from the cytoplasm, so which is continuous with the perinuclear space. The surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum is studded with protein manufacturing ribosome molecules, which gives a rough appearance. Hence, it is referred as a rough endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum consists of tubules which are located near the cell periphery and this network increases the surface area for the storage of enzymes and products of enzyme. Endoplasmic reticulum varies extensive, extensively extending from the cell membrane through the cytoplasm and forming a continuous connection with nuclear envelope. So it is distinguished by complex inner structure with membrane sheet organelles that conduct various functions. So this is the membrane structure of endoplasmic reticulum and you can see it is studded with a ribosome molecule. This is a membrane structure and between these two layers you can see the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. The whole network that constitutes the endoplasmic reticulum is a continuous with phospholipids membrane and the whole network as a complex internal space or lumen. The space is called endoplasmic reticulum cisternal space. The cisternae are 50 to 40 millimicron and the vesicles are spherical of diameter ranging from 25 to 500 millimicron. The tubules were the diameter of about 50 to 100 millimicron. So there are three types of endoplasmic reticulum which are rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and sarcoplasmic reticulum. Here the, I have shown the picture of rough endoplasmic reticulum which appears rough and the absence of ribosome it appears smooth. So it is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Structure of the endoplasmic reticulum here it is a nucleus just uh, above the nucleus we can see the a network like structure uh, here these, these are the tubules okay and these are the cisternae where you can see the pinched of vesicles these are the three important uh, parts of endoplasmic reticulum a membranous arrangement called cisternae the vesicles which are filled with protein molecules and tubular structure The functions of endoplasmic reticulum I have listed. The first one, it functions as a packaging system. It creates a network of membranes, membranes found throughout the cell and it provides a mechanical support to the cell. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it acts as a storage molecule, a storage organelle, stores steroids and ions. It has a functions in several metabolic processes such as uh, synthesis of lipids, steroids, metabolism of carbohydrates, regulation of calcium concentration, drug detoxification, attachment of receptors and cell membrane, proteins and steroid metabolism, smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes lipids and helps to detoxify the drugs and other harmful poisonous and it also has a role in muscle contraction for pumping calcium alloys. The rough endoplasmic reticulum are very important in the synthesis and packaging of proteins. The ribosomes are attached to the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum as the ribosome synthesizes the amino acid chain. The chain is pushed into the endoplasmic reticulum lumen when the protein is completed it is packed inside the endoplasmic reticulum and it is pinched off as a vesicle. The vesicle a small 
membranous bubble which can move throughout the cell and reaches its destination so it can pass through the golgi bodies and it, the further process it is carried by golgi bodies and reaches the cell membrane so here the same picture i have shown you nucleus this is endoplasmic reticulum the vesicles which are pinched off and they reach their destination <coughs> endoplasmic reticulum lumen takes up roughly about 10% of the total cell volume the bilipid membrane controls the transport of molecules between the cytoplasm and lumen it acts like a molecular pipeline which connects the nucleus with the cytoplasm this network transport uh, transports the molecules inside the cell as well as outside so there are two types of proteins that are found in the endoplasmic reticulum they are the one that is that are transported through it and the resident that means they are those proteins which are synthesized and transported and some of the proteins they are synthesized and resides there itself because they have the function in the endoplasmic reticulum itself and they are required for the function of reticulum the same again nucleus a reticular structure um, uh, which has a uh, the function of protein packaging next function the information of synthesis of protein is conveyed from the dna to the ribosome by mrna molecule this information is read by the ribosome and accordingly the proteins are created with the exact amino acid sequence through the help of trna rough endoplasmic reticulum is connected with a outer envelope of the cell nucleus and golgi bodies the reason the rough endoplasmic reticulum is called because uh, because of the presence of ribo millions of ribosomes cover its surface and make it appear a uh, rough okay they appear bumpy under microscopic magnification the ribosomes are the sites where proteins are created from amino acids so the same picture here it is a lumen of endoplasmic reticulum so these are the ribosomes when they are uh, just synthesized they are just pass into the uh, lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum where they undergo some modification the next function protein generation the prime function is the production and processing of specific proteins at ribosomal site that are later exported the ribosome do their job and create proteins which are then sent to the endoplasmic reticulum for advanced processing the amino acids and the complex molecules are transported from transported from the endoplasmic reticulum into the cytoplasm the cytoplasm and but amino acids are transported from cytoplasm to the uh, to the site of protein synthesis the functioning of reticulum involves creation of two types of proteins one is a type which uh, fortifies and gets embedded in the reticulum membrane and the other types are water soluble which are after creation at the ribosomal sites pass through the membrane and reaches the destination so this is the picture of where uh, the proteins are synthesized and modified this is in case of prokaryotes where free ribosomes they are uh, as soon as the mrna comes and attaches to the ribosome the proteins are synthesized and they are undergo modification this is a nucleus and uh, the nucleus where the uh, that is the protein synthesis after protein synthesis they pass into the uh, inside the nucleus where they have their function but here in is here it is the the uh, synthesis of protein and their modification in modification in a heat shock proteins we call them as chaperones okay this is a cytosol the mrna when it comes and attached to the ribosome uh, emerging a new emergent emerging of a new protein it undergoes it undergoes a modification to form a mature protein okay so in case of uh, free ribosome in case of prokaryotes and modification which takes place in the chaperone molecules in eukaryotes okay so these proteins they does the uh, they have the role in plasma membrane there is a secretory vesicle, vesicles and they have then the function in the lysosomes in case of prokaryotes it may protein may reach nucleus or peroxisomes chloroplast or mitochondria the next function is it is protein folding the proteins that enter the proteins that enter 
are further processed inside. The proteins are folded into right three dimensional shapes and the carbohydrate may be added. Many compounds are connected to the protein chain assembled in the lumen according to the requirement. Once the folding is complete, they are ready for delivery. That is, they will reach the, the site of function. The folding is made possible by chaperone proteins present in the lumen. The molecules like hemoglobin are produced in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, here I have shown you uh, the nascent protein which enters this uh, protein modification protein. It's, this is also a protein that is called molecule cha molecular chaperone chaperones they where they modify this protein to take a specific uh, shape. We call it as protein conformation. So, this process it needs energy ATP. The next function endoplasmic reticulum it carries the protein quality check. After assembly every protein created in endoplasmic reticulum is subjected to quality checking or quality evaluation. The protein is checked for correct ordering and structure. So, if it is not matching the exact requirement, it is rejected or stored in the lumen and sent back for recycling. So, many medical conditions like emphysema is a type of cystic fibrosis is caused due to the rejection of crucial protein by this endoplasmic reticulum quality check system. See here as I told you in the previous slide, as soon as the protein emerges, it undergoes modification. Modification if it is misfolded. If it is not correctly folded, it is degraded or it is recycled. So, these are the different proteins which are formed. Here it is oligomeric proteins, the fibril, fibrils, that is the muscle proteins, okay, and the proteins which are in the form of amorphous. So, all these are synthesized in the, in the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum because of ribosomes, okay. If they are misfolded, so they are degraded also. Next function, it does the function of protein transport. A protein transport these are uh, the ready proteins are reach the sites where they are required they may also send to the Golgi bodies for further advanced processing through the vesicles the next sarcoplasmic reticulum is a type of smooth endoplasmic reticulum found in the uh, muscles as well as straighted muscles sarcoplasmic reticulum stores calcium in muscle cell and function with the release of calcium at the time of muscle contraction Sarcoplasmic reticulum takes part in the several metabolic processes besides providing a surface area for acting the enzymes. It also serves as a storage space for several important enzymes among various metabolic processes. It plays an important role in carbohydrate metabolism and synthesis of lipids and steroids. The small vesicles of uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum are responsible for transporting proteins into the um, new locations. And it also does the function in the gluconeogenesis where glucose 6 phosphate it converts this enzyme it where it is converted into glucose, glucose 6 phosphate to glucose. And endoplasmic reticulum has a role in establishing intracellular connections via plasmodes motor. It also initiates the formation of cell wall during cell division. So, this is uh, the picture what I have shown here. It is uh, nucleus. Just beside the nucleus, you can see endoplasmic reticulum. The further processing, what is the left other function with the, uh, the part of the function which is carried out by the Golgi bodies. Again, these proteins are packed in the form of vesicles. The primary lysosomes are formed and uh, uh, after the after pinching it uh, from, from Golgi bodies, they form a matured ly lysosomes. And other proteins which have the function in the cell, cell membrane or plasma membrane they move to the move towards the plasma membrane considering the various rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum rules it is concluded that endoplasmic reticulum is one of the crucial cell organelle and their existence is so important for vital life processes like protein synthesis carbohydrate metabolism and lipid synthesis thank you Thank you for watching.